everyone, welcome back to the Clubhouse, our special place where we discover all kinds of things about the world, our country, our town, and our neighborhood. In our last few videos, we've been talking about United States symbols, like the American flag and the bald eagle. Today, we're going to be talking about a United States celebration. One that... What's Plato doing now? He's... What in the world? Plato? It looks like you're ready for a birthday celebration. Is it your birthday today? It is! Well, happy birthday, Plato. We'll have to celebrate after this lesson. Okay, as I was saying, today we're go- Plato, your birthday can't be tomorrow too. Or the next day. Or the day after that. Here on Earth we have one special day of the year that is our birthday. The day we were born. And speaking of birthdays, our country celebrates a birthday too. Every year on July 4th, we celebrate the very beginning of our country. Today we're going to learn about this special day and the different ways people celebrate it. So stay tuned for this episode of Clubhouse Social Studies. Welcome back to the Clubhouse, everybody. Remember, you are always welcome here. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about Independence Day. It's a big holiday here in the United States, celebrated every year on July 4th. Why do we celebrate this holiday? I'll tell you a little story about it. A long time ago, more than 200 years ago, in fact, the United States wasn't a free and independent country like it is today. It was part of a place far away called Great Britain. Many people living here wanted to break away from the British government, which was ruled by a king. After a lot of struggles and fighting a war, it finally happened. The new leaders of America signed a document called the Declaration of Independence. It told the world that the United States was now a free and independent country, no longer under the king's rule. The Declaration of Independence became official on the 4th of July, 1776. So that's the day we celebrate our nation's independence. July 4th, Independence Day. That's right, Plato. Every year, the 4th of July is our nation's birthday. Not every single day, which is apparently how you celebrate birthdays on your planet. Let's take a look at how people celebrate our country's birthday. It's independence as a new nation. This is a day where you'll see plenty of symbols for the United States. Lots of American flags, lots of red, white, and blue, even in summer treats. People celebrate by going to carnivals and other places to have fun and enjoy time with their friends and family. Many cities and towns have an Independence Day parade. It's a fun way to celebrate our nation's freedom. Marching bands and floats parade down the street. Some people celebrate the 4th of July by having a cookout or picnic with their friends and family. Hot dogs, hamburgers, corn on the cob, apple pie, these are often a big part of the celebration. And then there are the fireworks shows at night. Bright colors light up the night sky. Oh, I totally get it, Plato. Sometimes the booming sounds of fireworks can be very loud. I like sparklers. They're much quieter, and yet they're still a sparkly way to celebrate. Mia's gone out and asked some of our neighbors how they celebrate the 4th of July. Let's find out what they had to say in Mia on the Move. My family has a picnic on July 4th. I always look forward to seeing people that I haven't seen in a really long time. I usually have a quiet 4th of July, but I do think about our freedoms and how determined our forefathers were to gain independence from Britain. You'll see me in our town's Independence Day parade. I'm really proud to celebrate our country's birthday. Sometimes I have to work on the 4th of July, 
But if I'm not working, I take my kids to watch the fireworks show. They love it. Plato, were you trying to win that hot dog eating contest? Uh, I don't think that's a good idea, especially with your sensitive stomach, Plato. So that's it for today's video all about our nation's birthday, the 4th of July. Check out the lesson PDF for other fun ideas and activities that you can do to learn more about this holiday. So long, everybody, and see you next time for another exciting episode of Clubhouse Social Studies. Hey.